Black Ops 6 Prestige is amazing and we're going to go over everything in this video. First things first, we're going to go over how the Prestige works. Now, when you reach level 55, you're going to be prompted to this screen pop up. If you want to continue level unlocks or go to Prestige. In order to enter into Prestige, you have to level you have to get to level 55. Now, Level 55 will enter you in prestige, okay? Now, once you go all the way through the grind from level 1 to level 55 and get all your kill streaks, all those, your weapons and everything, those will be reset when you enter prestige 1. Now, all these things from weapons, lethals, field upgrades, score streaks, Perks, wild cards, ammo mods, gobble gums. Those will all be reset when you enter Prestige 1. Now, when you enter Prestige 1, you, you're going to click this box that's highlighted orange. Okay? And you're going to be prompted with these rewards. And these are instant rewards that you can use. Um, in Warzone, Multiplayer, and Zombies, okay? Those are the instant rewards, plus all of the ones on the right. So, the Weapon Blueprint, the Notch Raider for Weaver, all that kind of stuff. Those are instant rewards that you can keep forever, unless they change something that will be really stupid. So, so we're going to be... And then next you'll see this fiery looking circle when you finish prestige one or enter prestige one so the one of those two uh permanent unlocks like i said these are your permanent unlocks so <laughs> you permanently unlock these so you don't need to re unlock them unless you're starting another account or starting over to enter prestige one if you are new to this system so same goes for me I am new to this prestige system only modern warfare when you go over level 55 you're in prestige one you don't get any other things but I never knew about these prestige rewards or anything about prestige when I played Black Ops 4 Call of Duty games so Yes, my very first Call of Duty Black Ops 4 game was that, so, was Black Ops 4, was my very first Call of Duty game. So, when you progress, you're going to get these icons, so you're going to get the Jester Joker, you're going to get the Cover Guy, you're going to get the Nuketown Nuke, and all these cool looking emblems, so, yes. Um, next... These, these are all the rewards that will be showcased to you. Like I said, you know, a little bit up close and personal what you can get. If you're a Zombies fan, you will love these rewards. If not, I mean, you don't have to enter Prestige if you don't want to. But I don't think there's a way you can avoid it. If there is, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, next thing. When future prestige reward teaser, there's going to be other rewards for prestige in blogs later on, but these are a cool concept of the future rewards that you will get. So, prestige one, you will get this. Prestige two, you might get one of these skins or something else. Um, prestige three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to ten. There's going to be more skins than these featured in other Call of Duty games, Black Ops games, and many more. So, yeah. Next, once you reach Prestige Level Mastery, you're going to be get this three-headed dog. Um, you're going to get this cool-looking gun blueprint called Prestige Master with the Cerberus logo behind it. And you're going to get this character skin of the guy on the cover. And then another thing that you'll get, you'll get Prestige 1 Icon Legacy Set. 
where you can get all of the icons from the various Black Ops Modern Warfare Call of Duty games. So, kind of cool. I love this. I'm going to work through this. Um, I'm going to be live streaming all the time from YouTube to Twitch. YouTube in the mornings, Twitch at night, just so you guys know. Um, so, once you go to Prestige Masters from level 100 to all the way from level 1000 with prestige 10 icons or above they said or above right there so or above uh, there are calling cards for prestige so if you go into your calling cards you go all the way to this section where it says prestige I act like this is a game but if you go all the way to prestige challenges calling cards you can see all of the challenges for prestige there's one there if you guys can read it earned five snagged medals or earn five medals or earn ten first blood medals you know that's that one you know and so if you guys are really good reading you go on the blog post and read some of these like zoom up and read some of these so yes these calling cards look dope I do love the zombie ones so anytime anywhere prestige 3 those are pretty cool so you get various prestige calling cards now if you are a 100 percenter oh there are also dark op challenges with these prestige just let you know um, if you guys are a 100% your calling card, you might get these cool little emblems for multiplayer, zombies, guts exploding. Very cool. I like it so much. Um, these are all the card calling cards you can get in prestige or something. So very cool. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys like this video. What are you guys feeling about this new prestige system? and this is kind of new for me i never done something like this in a video where i go over how the prestige works but if you're but if you sure that i fully got the understanding of this one and when in this video to help you guys out if you guys are new let me know down in the comments section below if you think you want more videos like this or maybe I should go on gameplay videos so yes alright thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out everybody